Hello and welcome back to Tharic Place, Slay the Spire, and let's continue our current run. So, we'd like to go for a shop though, please. So, I'm just going for the first shop that I see right now, and we're gonna plan accordingly later on. And work on from there. So, we get all this, we get adrenaline, which gives us adrenaline, which gives me footwork, well laid plans. Oh boy. So. We either don't play Malaise or what oh, do we go for? It's you. Hari Vanch, thank you very much for following as well. So I think we survivor here don't play Malaise, unfortunately, but we do need the block because I need to deal damage to these guys. So we do this and then we also hit him with the finisher. So right now we take no damage. But. Yeah, we do get our ethereal cards, of course, but we need to kill these guys before they buff themselves up too, too much. So I'd like to kill this guy before he gets anything else here. So... A thousand cuts. Choke could have also worked, of course, but right now I think we don't go for that. We play this. Um, let's see... Shiv... Shiv... Okay, we don't need to attack him directly anymore. We defend and shiv you as well. And there we go. So I don't take any damage. We keep the choke for now. So as much as I hate not taking Nightmare right now, it's still good. We can afford to play choke a lot easier now that we have four energy. We can um, afford to play a thousand cuts a lot more. So overall, this is still pretty good. And the adrenaline is still not a bad pickup. I mean, it's it's anything but, basically. Oh, well, we should still do this, I think. Maybe. Well, no, we're, we're gonna wait. We're gonna dodge and roll instead. So, hit you one more time. So he goes down to 5 HP, so now we can start focusing on him. Yeah, we're gonna be good. Next turn, they're both dead, basically. Doesn't really matter what I do as long as I play three cards. They die. Where does that lead us? We defend. Shiv you. And yeah, might as well. <laughs> bye bye. See, this is better. Ooh, okay, I think. I we can actually play dash take dash plus. But I am skipping these. It's not good enough. Or we go with a piercing whale to reduce damage taken. Not that Acrobatics Plus would be bad, it's card draw, and it's discard, which would make Tingsha work. It's drawing four cards, I think we want that. But our deck is getting bigger, so that's why I'm going for shop after shop now, so that we can remove cards again, and at least get our deck a little bit smaller again. We get to transform a card. Let's transform a strike. Cripple Poison, it's fine. Or Crippling Poison, I should say. So, we've got these still. Let's see, Escape Plan. Gives us choke. Infinite blades, accuracy, we play adrenaline plus. Our first turns, as long as we draw the adrenaline, it always just becomes entirely ridiculous. Let's see, I should have played choke already, but we're gonna rectify that now and play it now. Yeah, I should have started with that, that was horribly dumb. God damn it, why am I stupid? We're still gonna get good value here, but it could have been way better. So there's that, I guess. Um, I am gonna split the damage around a little bit, though, here. Do we malaise him? Nah. Because these guys are gonna die on their own very, very quickly. So we're good here, I think. We did a little bit of damage there. We almost killed him, so we can probably force him to die next turn if we want to, to not take any damage. Uh, but let's see. But that was a bad order of, of operations there. I definitely would have could have been able to do that better. Let's see, since he's the only one not defending right now, we would like to go after him as well. Because I think, well, we'll be almost fine damage-wise. Um, yeah, discard this one. Deals a little bit more there, and then we still... We weaken him, 
reduce damage a little bit. So yeah, we're not taking any damage. See? This is fine. And now they're all attacking, which means none of them have blocks, so our thousand cuts are actually gonna do stuff, which should allow us to kill this guy pretty easily. And we might get close with the other ones. Oh yeah, we get die, die, die right away. Awesome. Okay, we play that. The accuracy, which now makes this one deal more damage. We go with acrobatics. We need to discard something. We discard a basic defend. Okay, he's down to two. I can only play one more card though, so we probably want to kill him. So I can't play footwork here, unfortunately. But we don't take any damage, so it doesn't matter as much. He's defending right now, so let's take a finisher. I think that's our best way of making sure we can kill him. So we get the shift play and a few attacks, and then we can just use the finisher to, to kill him off. They're both down this round, so I'm not too worried about that. There we go. And we take another Cloak and Dagger plus. Now we go into this one, though. Which means... I buy Apotheosis. And we remove a basic strike. I'm not even thinking about not buying that. We also buy Outmaneuver in that case. But that's it. Yeah, we leave. We proceed. There's another shop right there, which brings us between uh, towards an elite. So that's going to be interesting. But I want another shop, because we want to reduce our deck size as much as possible. Um, I've got no choke in my hand. Three, six, seven. Let's play Adrenaline. We also don't draw a choke. I could play Acrobatics here, but right now I need to start, I think, because we've got one... We've got three, six, eight cards in our hand, so I will draw you above my maximum. So, well laid plants. Uh, infinite blades. Now we play acrobatics. We get rid of a basic defend. They're not attacking us right now. I can go for all the setup, basically. Accuracy, accuracy. I'd love to play Cloak and Dagger instantly, but we do need to play Footwork just for the defensive purposes. So now I've gotten everything. We keep this card. Die, die, die could also be really nice to keep, but I still think we keep this one. The Shivs just deal 14 damage already because we got both. We got all of our power cards on our first turn thanks to this play. So yeah, this seems to be doing pretty well. Um, let's play Apotheosis. Let me play a thousand cuts. Cloak and dagger. There we go. So things are starting to become interesting. Let's kill this guy first because of his explosion damage. I really would like to avoid him. Although we are going to just get him close right now and not actually kill him. But uh, let's see. So... Doesn't matter as much where we go here. So he goes down to 1 HP. Which is fine. So we get a bunch of days cards. That's super annoying. So he's dex uh, dead after our next action. So I need to make sure that we get as much block as possible. So we play defend plus. He dies, we take 1 damage. But 1 damage overall is pretty okay. All the dazes is just so annoying, though. Let's hit him with weak and poison. That way I don't need to actually hit him anymore. And we can just... Yeah, hit this guy. And this guy. We don't take any damage. We also don't want to retain a daze card. Thank you very much for asking. And... There we go. I could actually be retaining even more, I believe, Lifeline Gaming. If I upgrade... If I get an... Well, should we get four? Don't I have two of those? Or does it not get more than two cards? Wait. I'm confused. I am going to check that in a moment. So. Defend. Dodge and roll. Neutralize. And a shiv. So you're dead. There we go. I want to take the outmaneuver again. I think... 
Yeah. Even though it increases our deck size once again, it's real nice. Ooh, boy. The giant head. Could that work? Too late, Harry Bench, unfortunately. Uh, to skip that. So, I'm sorry. Let's see, what do we do? Infinite Blade, Accuracy, Neutralize, probably go in with the Crippling Poison as well, just to get the three turns of weak and a little bit of poison there. But I don't get to retain anything. Still, we already have an Infinite Blades plus Accuracy start, which is pretty good. So our shivs already deal a little bit more damage here. So, a thousand cuts. Well laid plans. Escape plan. We draw Apotheosis. We play Apotheos, or we play Die, 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 we play a Defend card, we hit him with the Shiv. There we go. So, good value, we need one more Accuracy card, and then we're basically set. Once again, if we run into, if we make it to the last boss and we run into the Awakened one, I just lose. Again, I think. <laughs> Pretty certain that's gonna happen, but we'll see. We've also got a ridiculous amount of energy gain here. See, I finally remembered to go in with... With that one first? Oh boy. So, Shiv. Uh, acrobatics. We get rid of a defend. Accuracy plus. Well laid plans. We play an outmaneuver card. We play a dodge and roll for next turn. I think we play another outmaneuver. Well, actually, I should have retained that one. That was a mistake. But it's fine. And then we finish this off with a finisher. Oh, wait, only two attacks? Oh yeah, I didn't actually attack him that much. Still fine, though. Because now we've got the entire setup, basically. And we will gain six additional energy this turn, which is just uh, ridiculous. That's why I should have not played one of the outmaneuvers. That would have been better, I believe. But, oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Hit him with malaise here. So Cloak and Dagger... Three, six, seven, eight. Okay, we can do that again. Now we play Malaise. Which hits him for minus eight strength. Oh my god. But I wanted to go in with the Shivs last, since for every card we play, he takes more damage. So that's why we did that. And then we retain these two. So yeah, this is... It's, it's, it's working. You could say that. <laughs> Ooh boy. Ooh boy. The Apotheosis pickup there is so much value as well. It's kind of ridiculous. Let's see, now I do need to play the Shivs right away, though, I think, before we can play Acrobatics because of our card limit. I didn't need to go that hard into it, but it's fine. We get rid of a Defend. We neutralize Escape Plan. Should have done it the other way around as well. We gain more block once again. So now we are going to outmaneuver plus once, and then we play the finisher. We retain one of those, we also retain the dodge and roll plus, I think. Survivor might have been better, but I, if dodge and roll gives us more value, since I'll gain nine and then another nine turn the other turn. But he's also most likely going to die before this plays any sort of role. We choke him. Um... Cloak and Dagger, we outmaneuver. He goes in for 20, so... Yeah, Crippling Poison. Dodge and Roll, and now we just go in with the Shivs. And he's still gonna be almost dead. Not quite yet, but we're getting close. That's so much damage, it's ridiculous. I actually could have killed him if I had not defended, but gone in with a strike. Whoops. Ah, oh, it's fine. I don't, we don't really mind, do we? This is just, it's fun. Yeah, tick tock, tick tock. I don't, yeah, you keep counting. I'm not sure you realize the situation you're in there, buddy. Let's just end this. Darkstone Periap doesn't do anything for us as of this moment. I actually think I don't want Storm of Steel. Discard our hand and add one shift to your hand for each card discarded. It's amazing. And there might actually be a point for it, but I think. Another Adrenaline card right now might be better. But Storm of Steel is really good. And with all the cards and the retaining cards, we could get one turn of just playing 
playing shivs, which deal 14 damage each. So that does make it worth it somewhat. But the combination of things is important here. And Adrenaline gives us card draw, which with our deck size is important. And we also gain energy. So I think I am once again going to skip on that and go with our third Adrenaline card. Not sure if it's the right call, but I do like the idea. So... We are... Let's see. You have your mana cards into a storm when you are out of mana with Bernice. Yeah, that could work, for example. And I think if you upgrade the card, the storm as well, you also uh, reduce the mana cost of that one. I'm trying to figure out if I want to buy another well aid plans to retain more cards. We probably don't need to. We could go with another cloak and dagger. That one might actually be worth it. Once again, shift synergy, of course. Um, the setup could also be good. It's a skill that would cost zero. So, for example, I could get the thousand cuts, put it on top of our pile, and then play it next turn and make it cost zero. But I don't think we need the setup. Although we could also set up the choke in that case, but I don't know. Yeah, the centennial puzzle. So for the first time we lose HP each combat, we draw three cards. Would give us good uh, some good value, but let's actually check if I get to go for more shops if I want. We do. One more. Right there. So I might not want to invest in something that I'm not completely convinced of yet, because we could be getting something better at this shop. None of this is necessarily bad. I mean, the Dreamcatcher we don't need. The Centennial Puzzle is nice, but it's too late for that to really do us much good. But it could save us. Obviously, more well-laid plants could be good, but in favor of that, we don't. Cloak and Dagger is obviously nice, but I think I'm actually going to wait. Yeah, we, 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 we wait and we try for the... We try for this shop and see if we can get something there that is better. I hope that's going to be the case. So, Thousand Cuts, Infinite Blades, and then we just Cloak and Dagger right away, I think against these guys and we go for the small guy here first in that case since he's filling up our hand with um, dazes or wounds what is it dazes I think they changed some stuff oh no the sentries now give you dazes instead of wounds that's what it was but these guys already gave you so we kill him we don't we never have to target this guy he's gonna die just out of existing do I defend here we can choke Footwork, Cloak and Dagger, yeah. So Choke. Footwork, Cloak and Dagger, which means we only take one damage right now. That's not that bad. We are... We're getting rid of his debuffs, basically, even though it doesn't do anything for him yet. And we, are, we do want to ideally not take damage from him or get more debuffs. So let us... Just get rid of him, even though it's not as efficient as we could make it. It's still for the best, since now we can guarantee that we always draw enough cards. And the dazes are just annoying to deal with. Let's see. Uh, Adrenaline Plus. Please give me Apotheosis here. Somewhere. Yeah, let's just play these two. It's fine. Um, Adrenaline. Still no apotheosis, unfortunately, so we lose out so much energy here, but what can you do? We are going to take some damage here out of this guy now, unfortunately. Since my card draw was just... You know what? No, we still have Sozu, so I can't drink this. So we waste a lot of energy. We still got three extra energy out of uh, outmaneuver for next turn, but yeah, that's going to hurt now. Ow. But we can rest. We don't necessarily need to upgrade our deck. Thanks to all that. So, Adrenaline Plus. Thank you. Accuracy. We probably go in with the Crippling Poison because it blocks the poison but not the weak. Then it's Cloak and Dagger. Shiv, Shiv, Shiv. We can't... No, we play... Yeah, we still do this, I think, in that case, then. Because he's dying anyways, but we would have taken damage if we had hit him. At this point, maybe we wouldn't have. 
Actually, we could have been fine, but... Whoops. Wow, really? I clicked in the wrong point and we didn't retain? It's fine. They're still gonna die. I'm not worried about this at all. <laughs> We've got no reason to be either. So we escape plan, we do this. I mean, escape plan with the preparation would actually have... Oh my god. Ah, the setup would have worked really well with, with the preparation there. Wouldn't uh, With escape plan, because we can put a card back. A skill, basically. And then we can force to draw it, get it for free, and still gain block. That's a setup I didn't think about, but that could be really good. I need to remember that for next time. That's for sure. So... Are you still just unwilling to die? We would like to discard a defend? No, we would discard an outmaneuver right now. We... No, well, we should have gone with a defend, I think. Actually, it does not matter because we, yeah, we still do this so that I can at least attack him once and get the kill there. There we go. That's better. We take the Blade Dance Plus. Toolbox at the start of each combat, add a random colorless card to your hand. It's okay, but meh. It depends on the card, basically. There are some real amazing ones. We get Jack of All Trades. Really? Really? I mean, sure. It's a random colorless card that gives us a random colorless card. Deal three damage, draw a card. There we go. We escape plan. We adrenaline. No apotheosis. Bummer. So infinite blades. Well laid plans. We neutralize this one. Probably still an accuracy, and then I play the one defend card. And we can also play malaise on him to weaken him. There we go. So we're taking six damage, but overall it's still pretty decent here, I think. All things considering. And that's why his starting relic is so important. You just the, the two additional card draw gives you way more options, and especially with all the card draw and energy gain that we have now, it is just nuts. Okay, Cloak and Dagger. They don't go for a whole lot of damage, so we are probably fine playing Die, Die, Die here. Can we get a kill? We can probably avoid taking damage from this guy to begin with, but we still want to... We want to keep it pretty even. And I can defend enough here. We also have the Finisher. Let's play our last shiv. If we do this, he goes down to six. Well, five. But with the finisher, we are going to kill you. And then I play a defend card so that he doesn't deal damage to us. Oh no, I should have survived. Oh boy. Okay, I made a ma made an error there. I thought we he would die. I don't know what, why I thought that, but I did. So we're gonna take what nine damage now so that's not good but i can i can rest now i think as well so ultimately it's not as bad but it it definitely was a mistake that i shouldn't have made so he's dead now they're all dead it's fine it uh, hopefully it will be but uh yeah a little bit of an oh boy little bit of not paying attention goes a long way of us dying so hopefully I can I can work around that let's go into this shop now so I kind of want to buy a grand finale can only be played if there are no other cards in your draw pile we won't be able to set it up that's the problem also bottled flame we choose an attack to start with in our hand, do we want that? If we could choose to choose to get a skill, that would be awesome. But it's a different relic, I believe. So, neutralize would be good, of course. We could always start with neutralize in our hand. And go for that one. Because that way I can weaken him now. But it might not be in our best interest to go for that. It might actually be better to go for another footwork card. Or no predator for the damage and, and card draw. The extra card draw next turn is good. 
or bandage up. You know what? Yeah, we we get rid of a basic defend. And then I'm gonna buy bandage up. Because it's a little bit of a heal. Not a big one, but a little one. Which needs to be good enough. And now we would like to go event, event, campfire. Not fight, but apparently we do have to. So we get Flash of Steel. Deal three damage. Draw a card. We get the Adrenaline Plus. So we've got a potential strong setup. I need to see if I can get Choke, basically. Right now I have got... 3, 6, 8, which means we can play an Adrenaline Plus and not reach our card maximum. There we go, we got a Choke card. So we are going to play the Choke card on him. Then we play our second Adrenaline. We can neutralize... Do we need to neutralize him? That's the question. So first of all now, Infinite Blade, Infinite Blade. Let's go in with an Escape Plan. We get well laid plans, which is nice. I think we're gonna be able to kill him, so I don't need to weaken him. Which means in this case, we are going in with a... No, it's fine. We just neutralize one of the other ones. Go for this. Accuracy is good. So he needs one more hit and then, then he's dead, so we do need to play Survivor now, so that I don't take any damage. We get rid of... As much as I hate it, we get rid of Finisher here. Which, in this case, because we could have ki possibly killed one of these, but right now we just need to make sure that we don't take any damage, and we do that by keeping the defense, and we can use the malaise. To also just, um, yeah, weaken him on top of everything. There we go. He's the only one we never want to target, so reducing his damage is seems pretty decent. We're just gonna kill these two, and he needs to die out of the thousand cuts play on his own, basically. But we also don't have the thousand cuts yet, so that needs to happen. Dodge and roll, defend. That's good enough right now. We don't need to do more than this. Because we get to retain a card, we would like to retain the defend if we get the option. My goodness. Okay, what's... The... That much? We get to play the thousand cuts. There we go. We also get a blade dance, which is real funny. I do like that. Um, let's see... Three, six, eight, seven, no, which means we play one shiv right now. Now we play acrobatics. Oh my god, this is just ridiculous. We play... I actually... I think we just play die, die, die because we don't take enough damage from this guy. For that to be bad, then I can... Cloak and Dagger, which kills him, and we can still hit him twice with the Shiv, but then that's it basically, otherwise he would start dealing damage to us, and we don't want that. And we retain Cloak and Dagger and a Defend, because right now we just need to get our Defense up so that we can kill him easier. There we go. Hey, we finally draw Apotheosis. A little bit late there. We also bandage up because that's going to heal us. There we go. Okay, we'd like to regain as much health as possible before we go in there, basically. And if we could find a way to do something with our remaining money or just... Ooh, nope, buy potions. Really? Not that a potion seller is, 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 is bad there. But still. With Sozu, we just can't use this. Oh, it's Donu and Dekka. They're screwed. We're gonna win. We get a Madness card as well. They're just dead. Quite literally, I believe. 
Uh, three, six. Okay, we can play Adrenaline Plus. But I've got also just gotten amazing starts here. We play Choke. No, that's going to get blocked. That's going to get blocked. So, Infinite Blade, Infinite Blade. Acrobatics. There we go. We've got Apotheosis now. So, we discard Choke for now. We play Apothe Apotheosis. Accuracy. We go in with the Adrenaline Plus. Get the footwork set up. And let's see. One out maneuver needs to get played, definitely. We could try to use this to get rid of their, their um, artifact. But I think we are... Well, we'll see. So Cloak and Dagger, Cloak and Dagger. We get the shivs for now. And now I can either go in with a finisher. Well, we do this first. Okay, we get the defend for free. Bummer. Not bad, but I would have liked to get the crippling poison for free. So we finisher him. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. And let's see. Um, accuracy... Yeah, die, die, die won't change. We shiv you, shiv you. The malaise just won't do anything, basically. But we still, we still gonna play it. So we defend, hit him with malaise, which is gonna get rid of both the artifact debuffs. He's the one you kill second. Uh, we are gonna take a little bit of damage here, but uh, well, what can you do? Um, which now means we can weaken him, since he's gonna be around longer. Donu buffs, Deca deals damage, basically. He defends, but he's damaging and attacking. We finally get our thousand cuts, there we go. And... Yeah, our oh, turn is already playing for us here, basically. Which means I don't defend, so we do take a lot of damage, but that's okay. We hit him with that still. Shiv, 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 shiv. More shivs. All the shivs in the place. So we take 32 damage again. We might still die. It's a possibility because I'm not playing defensively right now, which I might be better served doing. But we're getting further and further into this and it becomes less and less likely that we need to play it that way because they're gonna die very, very soon. He's gonna buff again, which means I am going to kill him instead of letting him live and letting and just killing him because otherwise he would have increased the strength from from Decca again, and that's not okay. We don't want to allow that. Can we get a choke again, please? Let's see. Uh, discarded days, please. We don't get a choke, but we do. We really need to. Shiv, shiv. We blade dance. Hit him with three more of those. Cloak and dagger. A few more, and then I'm going to go in with a finisher, which won't quite get the kill. But it gets him real close, but I, the outmaneuver would have been nice, of course. But we, we're gonna win next turn. We draw, we instantly gain two shivs with both deal 14 damage. He's got block, yes, but it's not gonna be enough. So, one, two... And there we have it. So... Nice! Good run. Really good run. That was a strong one as well. Not as good uh, rank-wise here, but that's okay. So we now have dealt 10,000 damage. See, we're getting better here. Let's see. Um, yeah, if I had gotten more HP at the end, we probably could have gone closer to 700 points again. That's where I'm, what I'm aiming for, usually, is at around 700, because I know that that's an, it's not a bad score, basically. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Slay the Spire. Yay, we won! Now let's do that again and better next time, shall we? If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more Slay the Spire, just stick around. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope that you will tune in next time. Bye guys!